Uh, so hello guys. So as you might have noticed, I haven't made videos for the last two or three years. But from this point on, I'll be making more videos. So for the last year or so, I've been collecting vintage mechanical pencils. So my next few videos will be introducing some pretty popular vintage models. So today we have a vintage Pentel PMG 0.3 millimeter drafting pencil. So the PMG is part of the larger Pentel graph line. So the Pentel graph line was introduced sometime in the late 1960s to the early 1970s. And it was one of Pentel's earliest and most popular drafting pencil lineups. So it was available in 0.2 millimeter lead, which was the PG2. It was available in 0.3 lead, which is the PMG we have here. It was also available in 0.5 millimeter lead, which is the PG5. This one. So the PG5 is the only model that isn't discontinued and is still available for purchase today. The largest diameter lead it was available in is the PG7, which is in 0.7 millimeters. So the PMG is the 0.3 version of the graph pencil and coincidentally it's also the most collectible nowadays because of a special feature that we'll introduce in this video. So for thinner lead pencils, this one uses 0.3 as you can see. For thinner ones, a big risk is the lead sleeve is very likely to bend if you're not careful and you're carrying it around. So Pentel had a solution to that. So as you can see, the pencil comes with a uh, focus comes with a tip protector. So normally when the pencil is not in use, as you can see, there's a slit in the tip protector and that, that allows it to expand. So you can put it and clip it onto the tip. And now, even if you drop the pencil or you bang it around, nothing will happen to your lead sleeve. And when you're using it, take it off. When you're using the pencil, you can clip the tip protector onto the back of the pencil so you won't lose it. So this is basically the key feature of the PMG. So now let's talk about the design. So here we have the tip. As you can see, it's very thin, 0.3 millimeters. Here we have the plastic body. So there is a ridged grip, which is made out of like concentric rings. Here we have the text, 0.3 millimeters, which denote the less size. Then we have the clip. The clip is a standard metal pentel clip, which is also found on the PTO5 line. After that, we have a lead harness indicator. So on the graph line, the lead harness indicator allows you to tell which lead size the pencil is in. So different color, and in this case, different material, lead harness indicators can allow you to tell what lead size your pencil is in. So there were two key variants of the PMG. The ones with the metal gold colored lead harness indicators were the import model. So the import model was manufactured by Pentel to be specifically sold in the European and American markets. There is also another version, which I don't have, which has a red lead harness indicator ring. And it's made out of plastic, just like those ones. So that one is for the Japanese domestic market. Okay, let's look at the indicator. Uh, so here we have HB. Moving on, we have H. Then we have 2H. And finally, we have B. And then we're back to HB. So as you can see, there are not very many choices, but it covers the most popular ranges of lead. I do wish it had a 2B though. So let's disassemble the back end of the pencil. First, let's take off the tip protector. Let's unscrew the metal piece. And now we have this. As you can see, there's a very long lead drum clear. 
So for example, if there's lead stuck in your tip, you can use this to clear it up. As you can see with other, with, it's very common among Pentel drafting pencils, such as with the Acrograph lab as well, there's no eraser. Okay, let's put this back together. Okay, now let's talk about the writing experience. So a key part of the writing experience of any pencil is the grip, and luckily the PMG does not disappoint. Focus. So the grip of the PMG, as you can see here, works pretty well. It's pretty grippy. And now let's talk about balance. So the balance point is somewhere around the middle of the pencil, like around here, give or take. So, but overall the pencil is pretty light, so you won't be fatigued writing with this for long periods of time. So finally, let's talk about price. So since the PMG has been discontinued for about seven years now, According to Pentel's website, the last time it was in production was around the end of 2010 or 2011, give or take. So, and with its special feature, it's actually pretty popular among vintage collectors. So, on eBay, you should expect to pay about $60 to $80 for a brand new one, and for a used one, a little bit cheaper, maybe like $40 or so. So, is it worth the price? Well, that depends on whether if you like the lineup or not. So, if you're considering getting this, first I would get a PG5 because that model is still in production, so you can get it for about 67 bucks on Amazon. And if you like the PG5 and you like using 0.3, then I would say for the price, it's probably worth it. But otherwise, for your average daily user, probably not. Okay. So here's my review of the PMG. Thanks for watching and subscribe.